Yo, you already know what it is. This is at 3.05 p.m. Checking it back with Red Eye Mighty Clap. I'm Matt Big Will. And I got with me today. Yo, what's good? It's Bobby K. Out here vibing on the late night in Miami with Rated R Miami. Come on, we, man. We getting it right. You already know. You know what I mean? This is where we come and we talk about you, ask you about you, you know, get your opinions on you and what the music like and all that. Ew. Are you from Miami? Nah. Okay, where are you from? I'm from New Jersey. So what got you? What made you come to Miami? What made you pick Miami? And I just, my honestly, it just was the place I ended up. That's where life took me, bro. My life was all fucked up. Like, I just, honestly, I was doing hella drugs for a minute, whatever. Yeah. But I was into music my whole life. And I, I would play the drums for years, all this shit. But I need a way out, bro. And I just fucking, I came to Florida and I ended up, it wasn't until I came to Florida, I had already started recording music. I came down here though, and I just started performing in Fort Lauderdale, Miami, yeah. finding open mics. And uh, that's, the, it's, it's giving me the opportunity, bro. It's been easier for me to grow out here okay. in like South Florida than it, it was for me in my hometown, you know? Fucking, it was just a switch up. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So what, what attracts you to Miami? What, what would you say is the best thing about Miami to you? I mean, bro, I don't, like, <laughs> that's, that's an interesting question. Because for me, like, man, I'm just trying to further myself in my life. But what, something that attracts me is some of the, I was a huge fan of X, XXX Tentacion. Okay. And, like, I know he was down here. I was actually staying in, in West Palm at that at the time that he was, like, blowing up doing his thing yeah and then he passed and then i you know i'm always like drake's always talking about coming down fucking to 305 (laughs) okay 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 you 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 hear about uh all all the fucking famous people coming down through miami anything you see online people like glossy as hell wearing all this shit in miami you feel me i'm like miami seems like a good place for me to go okay be popping got you so what is your influence? What influences you for your music? What's your musical influence? My musical influences, bro. I mean, I'm gonna start off with saying that like, like my roots are really classic rock, like Led Zeppelin and Beatles type shit. I don't know if y'all are watching, even even know that's you know fucking just growing up with the parents were listening to you. Feel yeah, me? yeah. As far as my rap, rap roots and everything. You know, Eminem, Mac Miller, Lil Wayne, Jay-Z, Drake. Like, I, I've listened to, like, all their music, you know, like, anyone, like, Tupac and Biggie as well. Like, I've I've listened to all their music just to hear how they did it, you know, their vibe, their flows, like, the cadences they brought and the way they did it, man. Just because, like, you know, I ain't out here trying to be just some regular, trying to, trying to be me, but know how to be me to the best okay got you you're white right you yeah, Caucasian. No, i'm a white no tats <laughs> no piercings so let me ask you a question yeah what man. is some of the as a caucasian rapper what are some of the hardships you face as a white rapper shit walking into a, any place in miami and no matter how fire i hit that performance the first time everyone kind of just standing there like should i clap for this guy or, <laughs> like, and and i i see it like one like one person will be like and then they see and they're like, oh shit, like a couple people. But next time I go, everyone's fucking. Yeah, 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 and yeah, like, yeah. And you know, it's just, uh, I gotta be humble. I know that uh, a lot of odds are against me, man, but yeah, I know I got that work, bro. Like, and I okay. be putting in that work. I, I really, I try and hit the studio once a week. I, you know, all on my, my own money. Everything is on my own money. I've been editing my own music videos. On, on my fucking like iPhone type shit like bro I just like yeah. just getting anything done I could get done bro and now everybody wants to be the star everybody wants to be in the limelight but they don't know the struggle financially give some of those you know cause you paying for everything out your pocket explain that like how oh, is, is that a like explain that fat out you that weight is pushing me back in the chair right now man yes yeah. That that financial burden of just like you know you have to grind 
nine to five, not nine to five. You have to grind fucking sun up, sun down, overnight. Yeah. I I really I'm at this point where like I really don't like to even sleep. Like when I'm sleeping, I'll be I'm waking up I'm mad that I just slept like yeah. a couple more hours than I wanted to sleep, bro. Because there's just so much to do, and like financially, bro, like like I have a full time job. Lately, I've been working. 50, 60 hours doing this audio technician shit. I set up audio and lighting equipment. That shit was slow over the summer, bro. I couldn't let the let shit slow down. I'm supporting myself out here. I got my own place I rent. Like, I ain't, I ain't really ain't got no one, bro. It's just me. Yeah. And uh, I was doing some busting my ass doing construction over the summer, fucking, and, you know, still just trying to hit the studio. It's like to stay consistent with the music on top of just sustaining and you know being being all right like just just being all right out here because people are falling under bro yeah like shit is deep out here right now bro yeah it is it is and so like your music describe it to us my music man my music is some real shit i'll tell you that my music is you know excerpts of my life like like Put into my music along with me just like you know I, I write I like to write and uh, a lot of times when I write bro it's just like something that, that I, I literally am going through and I need to get out okay uh, and I make that into a song I just it comes right out in lyrics bro it'll be like 30 minutes that shit just flows out of me and type like then uh yeah I my music is just really about how I'm feeling at the time, I, I talk about certain political views in my music. I throw that shit in there. I'm talking about a lot of relationship shit. Okay, okay. Uh, you know, like, it's, uh, you know, my, my drugs that I had done in the past that I may still fuck with. I talk about it all, bro. I'm, I'm see-through in my raps, not gonna lie, bro. Yeah.